Smith Wesson Model 60-14 Stainless Steel Revolver 2-inch Barrel Today I'm not going to talk too much about the gun itself, but I would rather focus on the grip options. What kind of grips you can get for this beautiful revolver. The first grip I want to show is made by a small company in Illinois. It's called Altmont. This grip model is called the iTie. It's basically it's a conversion grip. It converts the Smith Wesson J frame round butt to square butt. The grip is very nice, comfortable, and the work is really, really good. Here are some pictures I took. And uh, you can see the Smith Wesson engraved logo. Actually, it's an option. You need to pay about $10 on it. And the grip itself, this is rosewood grip. It's about $50. Next, I'm going to show you another one grip, also from Altamont. But before doing that, I have to take this off first and take it off could be a little tricky. After removing the screws connecting two pieces of uh, grips, you're going to stick your flat head screwdriver to the gaps here and try to enlarge the gap between two pieces. You need to be very gentle. Push in a little bit and twist a little bit. You don't want to either destroy the wood or the stainless steel. And next, I would like to use my um, credit card method. So basically, you're going to use a credit card to furthermore open the gaps between two pieces of wood because credit card is plastic is kind of uh, soft so it won't destroy the wood or the stainless steel finish After removed one piece, you can gently tap the other one to make it loose and fall off. Okay, now the grip is off. Little bit cleaning work. Remove the fingerprints. The next grip is also made by Altmont. It's called the boot grip. It's also in rosewood. And I really like rosewood because it complements the stainless steel very well. First, I'm going to remove the screw. And you can see it's still connected because there are two pins connecting to two pieces of wood. So you put on one piece of wood, put in a pin and try to align the pin hole and screw it back. And now you're done. So this is Altmont boot grip rosewood finish. 
this is a much lower profile grip and it's very suitable for concealed carry. The finish of the grip is very nice and this also has Smith & Wesson laser logo. However, since this grip is a little shorter, so you may not have a place for put your pinky. To remove the grip, I'm also going to use my credit card method. The next one I'm going to show is the factory grip. Comes with the, this revolver when I purchased it. It's made by rubber and it's very easy to install and uninstall. You can see it's a full sized grip with finger grooves. It's very comfortable to hold. And the back of the frame is covered by a layer of rubber as well. So it provides very good cushion between the gun and your hand. When I go out, shoot this gun, I will change the, to the rubber grip rather than wood grip. It feels much comfortable to use this rubber grip. To remove this grip is also very easy. You just need to unscrew and take the two pieces away. Now comes the tricky part. To install the whole grip, you have to do something. You have to remove the pin at the bottom of the stainless steel grip because this pin is too wide you have to use the pin provided by Hulk grip when you purchase it it's included in the package Hulk grip is made by a company called Hulk and this one is also rosewood and it's a full size with finger grooves. To remove this pin, you need a hammer. Gently tap it. When one end is almost flat to the frame, you will need something to push it out. until the pin falls off. And then you're going to use the pin provided by Hogue. Push it in and this pin usually is very loose. And you are going to use the bracket provided by Hogue. There is two holes on the bracket and you are going to align with the pin. Actually, it will be easier to align the holes 
first and then put in a pin. Okay, now find the grooves in the hook grip because it's the one piece, so you have to slide in through the grooves. Push all the way in and feel the snap. And use the screw provided also by Hoag. And you're done with installing the Hoag grip. This grip is very thick and beefy, and it's very comfortable to hold. The only thing I don't like about this grip is there is no options to put on the Laser Smith Wesson logo. Pretty much this is the end of the video. Hope everyone likes it. Please subscribe. Goodbye. Have a good day.